guys, it's the Diamond Company here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a review, and most importantly, should you buy it at its $60 price range, and is it worth it, of the Yuango or Yuangu S60T. Now this is a Chinese made uh, stabilizer, it is not a gimbal, they are two different things. A gimbal is operated by electric motors, this is operated by weights. If you have six weights in total that come on the uh, gimbal when it comes. You got two big weights and then you have an extra four little weights just so you can fine tune to your camera along with the other tuning options. So, talking about tuning, let's talk about how to tune this to your camera's right. Now, I'm currently filming on my Canon 80D so I cannot show you um, with the camera but there are a bunch of videos out there, uh, a bunch of really helpful ones. So, let's just go over some basic things this knob on the side and this goes for most uh, gimbals as well you turn it you're able to move the plate back and forth but I'm not gonna do that because I've already got it um, mounted to my camera style so um, and then there's also in the front there's a little notch where you can go from side to side and then the main uh, kind of stabilizing feature is this right here. As you can see, this is a free, like, free spinning arm. And so basically, if you notice, it's kind of doing what it's supposed to be. So if you're like shaky and moving around like this, it keeps it stable. Um, I'm actually going to throw in some test footage with this along with the Canon 80D and 10 to 18 millimeter lens. Now let's talk about the construction of the stabilizer. So this is non-anodized aluminum. I actually know this because my friend's dog scratched it and it's just plain aluminum silver color underneath so it's not anodized. Um, but this is painted aluminum. It is um, the dials and the way you adjust it are this nice tealish blue color. Uh, just so you know which one it is and it kind of accents the whole machine. So this little pole right here which houses this so it can extend or be shorter, that is actually made of carbon fiber. Now it is genuine carbon fiber, um, I mean it, I, I'm pretty sure it's genuine carbon fiber. They say it's carbon fiber on the website so I'm just going to believe them and this handle right here is also made of uh, painted aluminum and foam so it has a nice comfortable foam grip uh, it's not contoured to your hand or anything but I guess over time it'll just contour by itself so how do you adjust the weights on the bottom you may be saying so really if you if you turn the little wing nuts on the top of the weights and you you don't need to get them off you just need to loosen them and then you can adjust the weights and if you need to take a weight off and the reason you know you need to take a weight off is when you do so say my cameras sitting on it and it has all the stuff that I'd have filming it would go like so see how this is super fast see how it drops or like so basically what I'm measuring is how long it takes to get to the center so you should have it at two to three seconds right now mine's at two just because if I take another one off it doesn't even go to the center so I'm just working with what I want now that's ideal a question many people have is when I do this, like, this is going everywhere. So how do I fix that? So you probably have the wrong weights at the bottom. So you once again do this, drop. Count how long it takes to get to the center like this. And if it's two to three, or if it is faster than two to three, reduce the weights. If it is slower, add weights. So this Yulongu Steadicam has a little moving little tripod I think it's a three quarter inch it's the standard camera tripod mount uh, now it does not have a quick release plate which is something that is really annoying just like a small nuisance and a disclaimer if you want to buy this it does not come with a quick release plate I know this looks like it comes off because it slides but it does not come off unfortunately so if you want uh, the you know the ability to have man photo quick release plates, you're gonna have to buy a way more expensive Steadicam. Um, yeah, and that's really a deal breaker for me in the future when I get all my man photo stuff. But that's kind of a big deal because when I'm filming, as promised, I'm gonna give you a demo sample for free of this gimbal. Um, so I just want to say, as always, it's a diamond company. Stay frosty and roll the clips.